Okay, so if you like practical mathematics, well, this is the perfect little problem for you. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read you the problem. It is the following. Your car used one-fourth of a 15-gallon fuel tank to travel 125 miles on the highway. What is your car's MPG for this situation? And if you don't know what MPG stands for, that is miles per gallon. Now, some of you might be saying, well, why do I have to do this math problem? All I have to do is look at my dashboard, my nice uh, vehicle with all its computers can tell me this information at any time. And yes, indeed, that is true. But uh, if you are driving a vehicle that's, let's say, maybe 50 years old, you're not going to be able to get this information. You're going to have to use your brain. So feel free to use a calculator. And if you have your answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to go ahead and show you the right answer in just one second. And then I'll go through the solution to this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning mathematics as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Now, before I show you the answer, I just got a question for you. Do you think this is a reasonable uh, problem? In other words, is it, you know, maybe a real life kind of situation? So here we've used a quarter of a tank, right? Let's suppose uh, we are driving, a, uh, the, the uh, fuel tank is full, excuse me, and this car has a 15 gallon fuel tank. Now, I don't know how much you know about vehicles, but uh, this seems fairly reasonable. We used a quarter tank to go 125 miles. So hopefully, you know, you're reading this problem, you're saying, well, this seems like it's a reasonable problem. You know, uh, myself, when I make these problems or I get other problems, you know, you always want to um, have problems are, that are realistic, right? So hopefully this is realistic to you. And uh, let's see if you actually got the correct answer. All right, so the correct answer is 33.3 MPG or miles per gallon. Now, um, some of you might be saying, well, yes, MPG, of course, when you look at uh, car commercials and whatnot, they measure it by uh, city, uh, your city, and highway, right? Because it all depends. There's a lot of variables involved in actually calculating miles per gallon. And in real life, it's constantly uh, fluctuating. So we're going to have to kind of simplify uh, this situation. But anyways, if you got 33.3, something right around there, well, then that indicates to me that you got this problem right. And we have to celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a professional certified expert in calculating uh, miles per gallon. But really what this tells me that you're an expert in this topic and the topic of this math video really is about rates, okay? So this MPG, this miles per gallon, when you see things like this, this is a, a dead giveaway that, hey, we are talking about this mathematical concept called rates, and you got to understand this. All right, now, if you didn't understand this problem, no worries. By the time I finish this video, you'll be an expert as well. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the solution. Now, um, anytime you're dealing with any problem, especially a math word problem, it's a good idea to read the problem more than one time. A lot of uh, people will just say, oh, they'll read the problem, they're like, okay, I understand what's going on, and they're just you know, are so excited, they just start doing stuff. Don't do that. Get in the, into the discipline of reading a problem at least three times. Even if you understand what's going on, read the problem once, read it again, and just kind of let this kind of marinate in your brain so you kind of think of solutions, but really what you want to do is understand what the question is and come up with ways you can model this situation. Okay, so that's really the best approach uh, when you're solving any math word problem is to try to come up with a model. Now, here we have this car. We have, um, you know, this fuel tank involved. It used some of the fuel. It used a quarter of the fuel in the fuel tank. It's a 15-gallon tank. It traveled 125 miles, and we're looking for this MPG. So how can we kind of um, visualize this problem? Well, you can do it by just a simple sketch. Let me show you my little sketch right here. Now, yours doesn't have to look like mine, but some sort of... Um, Sketch is often helpful. Now, some of you might say, I don't need a sketch. Uh, you know, you're kind of 
uh, overdoing it here, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, you know, I like to break this down because really it's just kind of the, uh, a visual representation of the problem, right? So here is our lovely car. It's a 1965 uh, whatever model this is. I think it looks like one of those woody station wagons. And I'm old enough to remember driving in station wagons. It was so much fun because we didn't even wear seatbelts back here. I mean, the safety uh, standards would just be so shocking uh, compared to... Um, uh, today's uh, standards. But anyways, make sure you wear your seatbelts. That's a whole nother uh, uh, topic. But anyways, here is our lovely 1965, whatever it is. We're driving down the road and uh, it used, let's say we had a full tank and it used a quarter of the tank. So it's right here. Uh, and our full tank, when we filled it up, was 15 gallons, right? So of course we paid like, I don't know, uh, uh, 50 cents or something crazy way back in the good old days, 1967 or whatever uh, gas was. So we used our um, one fourth of our 15 gallons to go 125 miles. So what is the fuel mileage on this vehicle? In other words, how well is it doing? Now we already have the answer. It's 33.3 .3 on the highway. And that's uh, pretty good, right? Of course, it's you know, there's vehicles that do better and there's vehicles that do worse. But uh, this is kind of a visual representation of the problem. But what we need now is a mathematical understanding of what's going on. Okay, well, that's where we're going to have to take the next step here. And we're going to have to review our knowledge of rates. Okay, so in mathematics, okay, anytime, well, math and science, anytime you hear the word per, okay, like miles per hour. This is a good example. Miles per hour, miles per uh, uh, miles per gallon, miles per hour, meters per second. There's a ton of these type of measurements, and this is what we call a rate. Okay, And the way you can recognize rates is with this uh, word per. Now, what is a rate? Well, I'm going to tell you right now, a rate is nothing more than a fraction. Okay, It's a special type of fraction, and I'll explain that in a second. All right, so we're talking about uh, MPG. We want to know the MPG, so it's a good idea to define miles per gallon, but we want to define it as a rate. So a rate, again, is a fraction, right? So something like one-third. But here's the deal, okay? It's a type of fraction where we're comparing two different units of measure, okay? In other words, the numerator and denominator have nothing to do with one another. Now, this is in contrast to something else called a ratio, okay, a ratio, and this is where the units of measure and the numerator and denominator are counting the same thing, okay? Now, I'll give you a couple examples of a, or I'll give you at least one example of a ratio, but just remember a rate and a ratio are fractions, and anytime you're talking about rates and ratios, then we bring in this other concept called proportions, but uh, we won't actually need to use any proportions for this particular problem. And a proportion is two equal fractions. Okay, so a lot of math concepts here. But let's uh, take a look at this acronym, MPG. That stands for miles per gallon. Okay, again, anytime you see that uh, word uh, P or hear that word per or see the word per, uh, we're talking about a rate. But another way we can kind of think about that is miles per gallon. We have a little forward fraction bar right here. But the best way to, to kind of think about a rate is, is a, uh, as a fraction, and you can write it this way, miles per gallon. So the miles, this first thing, is going to be our numerator, and then the P, the per, is going to be the fraction bar, and gallons will be the denominator. So miles per gallon, miles per gallon. Okay, so that is what a rate is. Now, I did uh, indicate or did promise that I was going to tell you what a ratio was or give you an example of a ratio so we can have something like a teacher to student a teacher to student ratio okay so a teacher to student ratio now somebody might be saying hey wait a minute you're counting two different things so let's suppose i said um this uh, teacher to student ratio is 1 to 20. now notice here i'm using the word 2 1 to 20. you can write that this way too 1 to 20. Or you can write it as 1 to 20, not 1 per 20. Okay, so when you hear that word 2, it's a ratio. Now, some of you might be saying, well, hey, Mr. U2 Math Man, uh, aren't you counting two different uh, units of measure here, teachers and students? Well, no, no, we're counting human beings. Teachers are, in fact, human beings, and students also 
are Homo sapiens, all right? So we're counting people, okay? So we're comparing uh, or, uh, two of the same concepts, okay? So that's what ratios are, so don't be tricked. But a dead giveaway, again, uh, the, uh, in terms of the difference between ratios and rates is the words, okay? Two, you're going to associate with ratios, and per, you're going to associate with rates. All right, so now let's go ahead and get back to our problem. So how do we approach this uh, scenario? Well, the first thing we want to do is figure this out right here, right? We have uh, our fuel tank. It's a 15-gallon fuel tank. We use one-fourth of that tank, so it's probably a good idea to calculate the actual amount of uh, fuel we used, right? So we're going to have to figure out what one-fourth of that 15 gallons is because we're going to be comparing gallons to um, uh, miles, right? That's what M. PG stands for its miles being compared to gallons. But here I don't know the exact amount of gallons, so we can easily calculate that one fourth times 15 gallons. Let's go ahead and do that right now. So the fuel, uh, fuel used here is going to be one fourth of this 15 gallons. So we're going to just take that one fourth and multiply it by 15. And uh, when you do that, it's going to be 3.75 gallons. All right, so now our problem really is distilled down as the following. So here is our 1965, whatever it is, it's driving down the road, it used 3.75 gallons to go 125 miles. All right, so now we're ready to kind of um, calculate uh, miles per gallon. Again, it's going to be a fraction, miles in gallons, but there's a little bit more of a twist here, but this is not gonna be that difficult. So we're gonna take the next step, but before we take that next step, I am going to show you this. And um, actually, there's two things I want to show you here. First is, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, this is really important, uh, not just for me, but uh, for those people that are looking to learn math in a way they may uh, like and understand. Okay, what I try to do on my YouTube channel is teach math in an easy to understand way, in a non-textbooky type of manner. By you subscribing, it really does help me reach more people and of course i definitely want to reach you um, as well when i do additional videos that's why you want to hit that notification buttons but uh, i wouldn't ask if it wasn't that important also i want to tell you about a um a new uh, math course that i just built it's called math skills rebuilder course and this is really designed for people who want to kind of get in touch with the all the math knowledge and skills that they once had but over the years you know you know of course we forget things that we don't use all right that's just uh, normal but uh, for those of you that want to go back and revisit your math uh, you know education you know maybe it's been 20 30 40 50 years well this is the perfect course for you so in this particular course I'm going to leave a link to it in the description as well you're going to revisit arithmetic, basic mathematics. You're going to learn a ton of algebra, a ton of geometry. You're going to learn some basic trigonometry and even some basic probability and statistics. So this is a really a great um, kind of math uh, overview course. And, you know, even if you didn't get too far in school in terms of algebra and geometry, uh, this course will build up your skills. And again, it starts with the very basics as well. All right, so if that interests you, you can find a link to that in the description so now let's go ahead and finish this problem up all right so here is our lovely vehicle we use 3.75 gallons to go 125 miles let's calculate the mpgs all right so that's miles per gallon and again we're talking about a rate but i'm going to think of that mpg as this um, fraction miles per gallon so now i can compare the uh the pieces of information that i have right which is I have miles, okay, so that's is going to be in my numerator, and I have gallons used, which is 3.75 gallons. But miles per gallons is a particular type of way of measuring. We wouldn't give uh, the rating for this vehicle, like if someone said, hey, what's the miles per gallon on your 1965 thingamajiggy? Uh, you wouldn't say, oh, well, that thing goes 125 miles per uh, 3.75 gallons, right? We wouldn't give it in that manner. So what we need is something called the unit rate. Now the unit rate is where we have the denominator as one. So what we're gonna do here is take this 125 miles and we're gonna divide it by 3.75. So when we take 125 divided by 3.75, we end up with 33.3 miles. But effectively what we're doing is taking 
both the numerator and denominator, and we're dividing uh, both by 3.75. So 3.75 divided by 3.75 is 1. Okay, what we want is 1 gallon miles per gallon or miles per 1 gallon. Okay, that's what MPG stands for. So here we have 33.3, and, and this is a repeating decimal, by the way, but uh, we'll just kind of round it off. 33.3 .3 miles per one gallon. That is the MPG. All right, so we didn't even have to mess with any proportions here, but what we had to do is make sure you, um, you know, really understand what a rate is and not to confuse it with a ratio. Now, typically, when you're dealing with rates and ratios and things like that, you almost always end up with proportions, but in this particular problem, we didn't have to get into proportions. But if you want to learn about proportions or anything else beyond uh, this particular um, uh, math problem, then this is a perfect uh, course, and it's kind of custom built for those of you that just miss doing mathematics. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.